okay, we all have chargers and we don't know which ones are faster, which ones are slower, which ones are better, and which ones are worse. So I'm gonna try to explain a little bit. Okay, so over here it says input, and then it says 100 to 240 volts. That basically tells you you can use it in any country that uses anywhere from 100 to 240 volts. In America, we use 110, so we're good. And in places like Europe, we use 220, so that's good too. Over here, it says 0.28 amps. Okay, that's not really important. It's important is the output. All USB devices use 5.0 volts. The newer quick charger ones now work faster. Some with 9 volts, some with 7, some with 12, and they will charge a lot faster. But the 5 volts are the standard. Now here we say it says 1.28. That's what makes the real difference how fast it's charging. So this is a LG charger, came with my LG phone, pretty old phone, and it's 1.2 amps. A stands for amps. And um, it is a pretty slow charger compared to the newer ones. If you get a new Samsung Galaxy, I just got one, um, S5, then it will be a much faster charger. If you buy a charger online, it will most probably be a 2 amp charger. 2 amps are much better. This is 1.2. Some of them are even 2.5. And the quick charges are um, sometimes up to 3 or 4. So it could be really, really fast charging. Um, also, not to get confused with cables, there are faster, you know, data syncing cables, which are 3.0. Um, that is faster than 2.0. But not to mix up with this, it doesn't make it not it's not a difference in charging speed when you have those cables. If you have a higher quality cable, then yes, it will charge faster. If you have a longer cable, it will charge slower. If you have a shorter cable, it will charge faster. If you have a higher quality cable, it will charge faster. Lower quality, slower. So that's basically it for now. Thank you for watching. This is MJ Reviews.